Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a buy it or pass it for you guys. Um, this is going to be my second round for the holiday edition. If you did not catch the first round, I will definitely have that up here on the cards for you guys. So before we get started, if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that big red button before you leave. Um, I normally post every Monday and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'll have those all listed down below for you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. The first items we want to talk about because <laughs> there are going to be so many um all right so morphe is coming out with a holiday collection it looks like they are going to have two palettes one is the butterfly artistry palette um and the other one is your true selfie artistry palette for 16 dollars a piece uh they have the molten magic 12 piece lip gloss topper set for 29 dollars the Metallic Heat and Glitter Fever Liquid Eyeshadow Trios for $12 a piece. Um, the Wingman Liquid Liner Duo for $19. They also have two brush collections coming out. The first one is the Grandmaster's 20 piece brush collection for $75 or the Bling Fling 8 piece blush collection for $79. Okay. Let's talk about this. First of all, I've been stepping away from Morphe um, more so because there are just more palettes out there that I have been enjoying. Um, I think it's a great place to start if you're definitely new to makeup. Uh, they're very user friendly. Their brushes are really, really cheap. But that's it. Their brushes are really, really cheap. In my collection, in my Morphe brushes, this tends to happen a lot. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it if you look at the bottom where the hairs are it's green right in here um i have one that's actually turning brown i don't know if you can see or not i'm so sorry no or if you can see that one that one's actually turning colors i just don't think they hold up very well yes they're cheap um but you're going to be replacing them more often or at least in my experience um i would actually rather take that money and invest in sigma brushes um yes i have become an affiliate with sigma but i have loved them for so so long if you look at my channel i have used them as long as i've had my channel um so i highly stand by them not only do they give a warranty but their brush quality is exceptional and it's just so much better and they always run like specials and things like that discounts so i'm definitely not going to be buying these brush brush sets especially for 79 dollars and for an eight piece for a blinged brush set for 79 dollars that is really expensive um the palettes i'm just not interested in nothing really pops out at me i'm really really bummed that they took away i think it was like the 35b palette the all colorful bold palette i really really wanted that i never pulled the trigger and they discontinued it so that kind of made my heart a little sad um i am waiting for them maybe to recreate it or bring it back uh which they have not done yet but for now i'm not getting anything from morphe all right, so Anastasia Beverly Hills has a new collection for the holidays. It involves a eyeshadow palette, uh, mini lip gloss sets, glitters, and I also believe, yes, they have a metallic mini liquid lipstick set. So the palette is $45. The gloss set is $25. The glitters are $15 a piece. Ooh, that's expensive. Um, and the mini set the mini liquid lipstick set is $25. Now, the eyeshadow palette, I love Anastasia Beverly Hills so much. I have the Soft Glam. I have the Modern Renaissance. I have the Norvina palette. Those are some of my top favorite palettes. However, looking at those palettes and looking at this palette, I feel like I have everything in here for the most part, um, except for like the pink shade, it just you know the silver shade I definitely have in other palettes I just don't feel like I need this this is something that maybe if you don't have any of the ABH palettes that you would want to purchase I could see that but with as many palettes as I already have along with all three of their palettes I do not need this and nor do I want it I love the outside packaging I think it is beautiful but when they opened it up and revealed the palette 
it just didn't do it for me so I'm gonna be passing on that like I said the glitters are really expensive so I'm not gonna be getting any of those if I want glitters I'll probably do something like NYX glitters their mini gloss set I love ADHD glosses like love them they are so comfortable oh they are amazing but these shades really don't do it for me I think these are a little bit more like shimmery shades so I'm gonna be passing along with that and I am not a fan of their liquid lipsticks, so I will not be purchasing that either. So I'm sad to say for the holidays for ABH, I will not be purchasing anything from their collection. All right, Pure Cosmetics has a whole entire holiday collection that they released. Now, I love the theme of this collection. Oh my gosh, this one makes my heart happy as far as the theme goes. It is Pure Cosmetics and the Dr. Seuss The Grinch collection. Ah, oh, that is awesome. It's just like perfect for the holidays. I love how The Grinch stole Christmas. I really love that they went with the extremely classic holiday theme. However, the packaging that they <laughs> did with this palette, I can't get with it it's just it's bulky it's not practical to stick in like with my other things that I have I would have to have a special spot for it the colors are okay I mean if you hide that green shade it's kind of like every other palette but the packaging is just so bulky it's like in this heart packaging that comes out of this box it's just it's very, very unfortunate that they made the packaging so bulky because I probably would have bought it just for the packaging alone had they done it right. Um, even if the shades weren't exactly something new, if they would have nailed the packaging, I probably would have bought it. And I hate to say that because I try not to, but I love the Grinch and this could have gone so right, but I just don't think it was executed very well. Um, they also have a brush collection for $39 you get five different brushes they have a liquid eyeliner set for $28 they have a clay mask which I believe goes on green but turns a different color if I'm not mistaken um, and then they have a four piece mask sampler gift set for $28 I love the theme of this I love the packaging on everything else um, I'm kind of interested in the liquid eyeliner set I think that's really cute but as of for right now, I'm definitely going to say no to the entire collection. All right, you guys, Wet n Wild has another holiday brush set coming out. Now, I did purchase the one, I believe it was from last year, um, and I quite enjoyed it. I was able to buy it at a discount. It was $30 originally, but they went on sale, and I was able to snag one at a discounted price. Now, this is actually part of it right here. I use these brushes all the time. Like for real this is my blending brush I love these brushes these were so so good so I'm excited that they're coming out with another one um, it is for $30 as well it is a 10 piece pro brush set now in the set you have a shader eye brush a tapered blending brush a flat contour brush flat foundation brush a large powder brush a blush brush a fan brush, a tapered highlighting brush, fluffy blending brush, and a concealer brush. This one is definitely geared more towards the face. Last year's was geared more towards the eyes. Um, I have plenty of face brushes, so I will not personally be purchasing this for myself. Um, however, if it does go on sale, I definitely want to snag one up for my upcoming giveaway for Christmas. Um, but if you guys are looking for some good face brushes, I would definitely look into this collection because like I said, they are so, so good. I use them all the time. Huge love. So if I was in the market for these types of brushes, I definitely would be, be purchasing them for myself. All right, so Fenty Beauty released a holiday collection. She came out with a mini fairy bomb. Uh, for $20 a piece. She came out with a kilowatt foil freestyle highlighter palette. Now, when I first saw this, I thought this was an eyeshadow palette. I mean, I'm sure you could use it at either or, um, but ugh, the packaging is amazing on this. Uh, it is $54. She's coming out with some more eye lip crayons for $39. Frosted metal lipsticks for $36. Ooh, is that a piece or is that a set? 
I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up, but I'll definitely link that down below for you guys. I love Fenty Beauty. I actually have uh, two of their kilowatt highlighters. Their highlighters are amazing if you have not tried them. But I just don't feel that I need a colorful highlighting palette. Um, I have plenty of highlighters, and I'm not really into like reds and orange highlighters. I really don't need anything from this collection, so I'm going to be passing over the whole entire thing. All right, so Dose of Colors released a holiday palette as well. It is called their Snow Angels palette. Now, this is going to retail for $32. I do love the Dose of Colors. I have their Mopolis Mops palette. I love this palette so much, <laughs> but these colors are not for me. These palettes are pretty expensive, if you ask me. You only get five shades for what I say, $35, $33. And that's just, that's kind of expensive. Now, the only reason I bought this one is because it was on sale at Ulta. Um, that is the only reason I bought that because I just could not pull the trigger on just a little eyeshadow palette for $35. That's just, oh, that's just so expensive. Um, yes, they are good. I still don't think I would pay full price for this. Um, if any of the other ones were to go on sale, I would probably purchase them then, but full price, not going to do it. So that means I'm definitely not going to be getting this palette. All right. So Hourglass did release two holiday palettes. Uh, the first one being their ambient, ambient lighting edit unlocked palette. This palette's really, really pretty. Um, but they were just not shades that were going to suit my skin tone. So I definitely passed on that one. Um, the second one they came out with was the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4. This was a little bit more similar to last year. Um, it is $80, so it's very, very expensive. A lot of people say it is not worth it. You're much better off buying full-size products, yada, yada, yada. But for someone like me, I don't go through my products as fast because I do have so much and I am constantly reviewing new products. So this would actually be something that is right up my alley i really have been wanting to try hourglass for quite some time i'm very bummed out that i actually missed out on last year's palette i thought it was so beautiful i just did not i didn't go for it um however this year i really am thinking about going for it I love that these shades are similar to last year because I kind of feel like I get a second chance. It might not make a lot of people happy, but it makes me happy. Um, and I think the packaging is so beautiful that it's got like that pink chrome package. So I know it's expensive. Oh, I know it's expensive, but I really want it. I really, really want it. <sighs> so almost say this is on my list to get <laughs> is that crazy yes okay so this is definitely on my list i really 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 want this palette all right la rock also released a holiday collection more recently not a lot of hype has come around this um la rock just kind of seems to fall under the radar a lot in my opinion uh, they have released a Lorac Shine Bright Pro eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is $49. Um, you all, there's also a Alter Ego lip gloss set for $25. You get six lip glosses in that. Um, they have a Alter Ego lipstick set for $25. And they have the Shine Bright Color Source and Light Source Cheek Palette for $29. Now... I love their lip glosses, so I'm definitely considering purchasing this. I'm not a big fan of their lipsticks, their bullet lipsticks, so I'm going to be passing on that set. The highlighter blush palette, it's really pretty, but I really don't need those right now. Now when I first saw the eyeshadow palette, it actually did catch my eye, maybe because of the fact that it was a little bit more colorful. Um, I've been drawn to color a little bit more lately, but this is something I'm definitely going to have to swatch in person to see how it performs. I do love Lorac eyeshadows. I do have all three of their sunset palettes. I love those. I have the um, Lorac Beauty and the Beast palette, the Pirates of the Caribbean. So I love their shadows, but... I don't know something is just kind of giving me pause when I look at it 
like I said, it caught my attention, but I definitely did not do a double take. So I wanna see how this swatch is in store and then we'll go from there. Interested in lip gloss, maybe for the eyeshadow palette, pass for everything else. All right, I got another expensive one I'm talking about, you guys. So Natasha Denona released two eyeshadow palettes. One is not really holiday. It was their um, Safari palette, which I'm still kind of interested in, just saying. Um, but the other one I believe is more holiday appropriate. It is her gold palette. Now this palette, <laughs> we all know her palettes are outrageously priced. It is $129. I do have one of her palettes. I did not pay full price. I did definitely wait for this sale. Um, but this palette just does not do it for me. And I can say with a clear conscience, that nothing in this palette is, excites me. This is nothing but basically golds and brown shades and you have like one or two pops of blue, one being like a matte, one being a shimmer. And that is the whole entire palette. That's the whole entire palette. I'm not gonna pay $129 for a gold and brown palette. I'm just not gonna do it. Um, the palette I did buy from her was the Sunset palette. Oh, so beautiful. Um, I love it. I am interested in that Safari palette, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but this is definitely a pass. This is so pass. And the last thing we're going to talk about is the NARS has a whole entire collection that they have released for the holidays. They have this crazy looking calendar called the Uncensored Advent Calendar includes uh, a whole bunch of minis, one for every single day of the month. It is $150. That's very expensive. Um, I mean, I understand you're getting a lot of products, a lot of different products, but that's that's all, that's kind of expensive for minis. Um, you, they also have the High Voltage Highlighting Palette for $42, the Spiked Audacious in Nancy for $34, the Little Fetish Sets for $24 a piece, the Hot Triced Cheek Palette for $59. Eyeshadow Palettes for $49 each. Lip Gloss Coffret, $39. The Velvet Matte Lip Pencil Duo for $29. The Velvet Matte Lip Pencil Set for $45. And the Lip Luster for $26 each. I've never really been drawn in to NARS. Nothing really has caught my attention when I look at their stuff. I think the calendar is a really, really cool idea. It's just a little overpriced in my book. I don't know, nothing in here just really catches my eye. The packaging is pretty cool. Um, it looks nice, but nothing, nothing's calling my name. Nothing interests me in this collection. So I'm going to be passing everything in this collection as well. Whew. We made it through another round of holiday releases. Oh my gosh, it's only October, you guys. I know there's gonna be so much more coming out. Um, there might be a third part to the Will I Buy It holiday edition. Um, we will just have to see what is released. So if you guys did like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up for me and I'll see you next time. Bye.